Good morning to all. We, will, we would like to start a session. In mathematics classrooms, it is important to create a rich learning environment that encourages a positive mindset and open up the potential for the growth in mathematics teaching and learning. Using a range of teaching strategies that connect the content, skills, concepts, will enhance understanding and engagement and build students' confidence as a mathematical learners and thinkers. Good morning to all. I am B. Satyaya, Head Department of Mathematics. A warm welcome to a guest lecture organized by the Department of Mathematics, AV College on learning resources in mathematics. Before beginning the session, let us now invoke God blessings on all of us and raise for the prayer. गणपत विघ्न विनाशिने स्वाहा ओ गौ गणपत विघ्न विनाशिने स्वाहा थैंक यू now i invite mr pawan kumar reddy to introduce our speaker for the session good morning all i am pawan kumar assistant professor department of mathematics i feel privileged to introduce our guest of the day dr c govardhan associate professor department of mathematics university college of science usman university hyderabad sir has done msc mathematics and phd on certain analogs of chemical conjecture he has teaching experience of 29 years he served in various administrative positions he worked as a chairman board of studies in mathematics satavahana university and chairman board of studies in computer science university college of science usma university sir was always recognized for his industrious work he was worked professor in he was awarded professor nv subbaro memorial gold medal by usma university awarded this medal for securing highest marks in msc in the entire faculty of science and Hindustan Aeronautical Limit, Limited Gold Medal by Usma University awarded this medal for securing first position in PG degree in mathematics and also Indian Mathematical Society Gold Medal by Usma University awarded this medal for standing first in mathematics coming to his publications he presented papers at V Shivaram Prasad C Govardhan Hussain Abdul Qadir on composite n dividing phi of n tau of n plus 2 published year 2015 and on composite n dividing phi of n sigma of n plus 1 published year 2013 and also sir presented papers at v sivaram prasad c govardhan husain abdul qadir mohammad all address on lehma torsion problem and its unitary analog published year 2010 sir has published many books on analytics or solid geometry complex analysis analytical number theory mathematics and statistics mathematics 1b calculus coordinate geometry and linear algebra most of it are published by dr b r ambedkar open university telugu academy professor g ram reddy center for distance education usma university sa has many conferences to his credit and various seminars conference workshop organized by sir sir we are grateful to have you as a guest thank you sir kindly start the session thank you mr pawan can you hear me yeah sir yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, screen is uh, visible to you my screen no sir no is it visible now no sir no screen is not visible okay sir yeah uh, screen share the just um, okay that's what okay. share the screen mm. Okay, sir. Can yeah, visible. Uh, is it visible now? Yeah, sir. Yeah. Can you hear yeah, me clearly? Yes. My voice yeah, is audible. audible to you. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Pawan. Uh, okay, thank you, Mr. Pawan, uh, for uh, showering me with the uh, praises. Okay, uh, let me straight away begin with uh, the lecture. Uh, learning tools in 
mathematics or learning resources in mathematics. Yeah, we know nowadays uh, we are using internet for almost all the purposes in our daily life. Yeah, from everything and anything for that matter. And uh, for shopping, we are using extensively various platforms like Amazon, Flipkart, and whatnot. Right? And for everything, we are using internet. And uh, my point is that uh, are there any resources which can be used in learning and teaching mathematics? Even though this lecture is confined to learning resources in mathematics, it is uh, useful for both uh, teaching and taught. Uh, so uh, let us, I would like to look into some of the resources which can be made use in uh, learning mathematics effectively and uh, teaching uh, mathematics effectively in the classroom. The resources I'm going to present in front of you are uh, totally free or uh, they cost very little amount from your pocket. Uh, certainly, it is not at all a burden to even individuals also, but most of them are free resources. So, uh, teaching at the school level, uh, at the very early age, we are exposed to two important topics in the school level, algebra and uh, geometry. Geometry will be taught separately and algebra will be taught separately. Yeah, by the end of uh, completing school education, uh, people will come out with the idea that uh, algebra is for the sake of algebra and the geometry is for the sake of geometry. Of course, uh, they will be exposed to some extent applications of uh, geometry. Because geometry is visible, probably uh, one can appreciate the subject because that can be seen. Uh, that which can be seen can be felt so happily. Algebra, that cannot be seen. right? But then, uh, by nature, algebra is abstract. By nature, geometry is a visible one, right? These two is our contrast in nature. But the surprising thing is that these two topics are interconnected. Geometry has got something to do with algebra, and algebra has got something to do with uh, geometry. That link link between algebra and geometry is not thoroughly established at the school level. That's in, in my view, of course. But most of the people may agree with me. The connection between algebra and geometry is not that thoroughly expressed or explained. So algebra will be taught for the sake of algebra mostly and uh, geometry for the sake of geometry. Even though there is a subject like coordinate geometry, which is going to connect algebra and geometry. So clear cut relation uh, will not be, is not uh, being established in the minds of the students, right? But uh, now I would like to look into, yeah, to begin with, I would like to begin with the uh, first grapher tools I want to look into. Grapher tools I want to see, which are of course for free usage. Having seen some grapher tools, and I want to look into you know, on a typical small software which can be used for learning calculus ideas. And uh, later I want to look into another small software which looks into linear algebra kind of thing. Because my audience is um, BSc students, I would like to focus on the content that is being taught at uh, degree level. I think the, these are uh, typical courses which are being taught at the BSc level and uh, algebra. So these are courses which appear mostly in the BSc level. Here, calculus means calculus inclusive of advanced calculus, inclusive of differential equations, and so on. Linear algebra, you know, and the real analysis to cover that, and the algebra is going to cover other aspects of this, including abstract algebra. So let's try to begin the story with the graphic tools, which are going to 
establish very clear cut distinction between equations and uh, physical objects curves right uh, remember every equation uh, has a, if you look into stephen hawking uh, saying uh, in which he has written a book uh, about the universe a latest book which goes by the name grand design he says that the whole universe is a grand design which is designed by using uh, physics principles followed by mathematical equations these are two things which are binding the whole universe the whole universe is created by using this so in other words this equations and inequations equalities and inequality equations and inequations are going to describe the total physical world right so such an important thing is that so if we inject into the minds of the students about uh, these graph tools thoroughly which make one understand the ideas of algebra and geometry thoroughly and that may take him to any level now that at this stage people are very very familiar with one such tool which goes by the name geogebra there are two important tools for the graph tools one is uh, geogebra this is one graph tool there is another one is desmos these are important graph tools in addition to these two tools uh, whoever has got these smartphones with them or a desktop with them every system is provided with some kind of graph tools and for that matter if i take a ipad like thing we have got it it has got its own graph tool which is more advanced one but uh, these are free uh, tools these two are very free tools which can be downloaded from the internet and they are going to provide you very beautiful connection between algebra and geometry uh, because this geogebra is familiar with most of the most of the people uh, let me go to this desmos what does it do desmos graphing calculator so i want to show you that particular grapher to desmos so this is what i'm talking about can you see this please hello sir yeah are you able to see this screen yes yes sir yes yeah this is a tool which is available for uh, desktop computers mobile phones and laptops laptops also uh irrespective of the platform it can be ios device or it can be mac device or it may be windows one it may be android one so whatever the operating system may be for all the operating systems this application is available its name is desmos what what does they do so this is in fact only meant for uh, 2d visualizations it's basically meant for two dimensional visualizations suppose if i look into y square greater than or equal to say x or y square less than or equal to say x uh, this is the picture immediately the y square less than or equal to x is nothing but a region represented by that parabola y square is equal to x inside of it if i look into the same thing another one instead of uh, this is the graph of uh, y square less than or equal to x but point is that instead of this if i take y square less than or equal to say some parameter a times x if i go on changing various values of x i can put some slider for this i want to take uh, from minus 10 to 10 i am taking y square less than or equal to ax um, for a values being uh, from minus 10 to 10 and i want to let take a different color here instead of that let me take this color okay if i allow my slider to move so this is the picture of uh, the graph y square is equal to ax 
where a is going to run in between minus 10 to plus 10. Remember, what does this imply? As a grows, the size of this particular one, that means uh, lattice rectum is going to increase like anything, right? As a goes, lattice rectum of this parabola increases like anything. So a becomes negative, that comes left side. If a is positive, that's going to the right side. So these things you can see pretty easily by using this app, right? So if I, instead of this, let me stop this, this one. And, uh, let us take another Hello. equation. Hello. Hello. So if I take another equation, say y is equal to, say y is equal to <laughs> x plus k or uh, x plus a, let us take, and uh, let us take b also there. So if I take uh, this, or uh, if I take this y is equal to x plus a, where uh, this, so can you uh, put some y is equal to say some x cube, let me take this, right? y is equal to x cube. Uh, this is the cat. If I instead of i is equal to x cube, if I take the region greater than or equal to this, it will be like this. But in the um, ordinary classrooms with the chalk piece and board, I think realizing these um, regions and uh, curves is very difficult. Right? It's very tough if you want to realize the same thing in the, the regular classrooms. If uh, the students are exposed to these kinds of simple apps, uh, they expect so many situations. What kind of curve is going to stand for which? And uh, how to expand that? And uh, in order to describe some physical object, what are the equations are uh, useful? And which equations describe what? All these things will be explored by him. So once you keep this particular application at his disposal, he starts uh, making so many explorations which may settle in the minds of the students so that there is a strong connection between geometry and algebra. E equations form a part of algebra. Such configurations form a part of geometry. Therefore, a link between geometry and algebra will be thoroughly established with such kind of apps. In order to get total familiarity with uh, this particular app, there is one provision here. So these are few things. look at these you look at this there are some uh, already created apps out there for example if i look at um, polar rose example it is nothing but r less than or equal to sine a by b theta and as theta range ranges between 0 to 12 pi and uh, a ranges from minus 10 to 10 b is going to range from minus 10 to 10 how does this figure look like? How does this figure look like? You can just have a visual impact of this. So this is the way it uh, looks like. It's like a leaf type, uh, flower type of curve with so many leaves, uh, petals, with so many petals, right? So this is in fact called polar rose. It looks like a rose with uh, so many petals. As uh, A takes the values between minus and 10, that is the way. If I stop this, and if I allow both of them, A and B is to vary. Uh, this is the shape. These are the shapes that appear. Let me stop here this. So if I go on uh, changing these Bs, this is the result that you get with a fixed A is equal to two. But if I want to explain, explain all this particular stuff in the classroom, which is just impossible. But if, if you make this available to the students, then we want this. So instead of this, if I just make only B here, if I take just A alone, you can see uh, this is what it's going to take place with so many petals. So it's looking like rows with so many petals, right? So this is what we get. So you can even expect only uh, such uh, visuals available in this one. 
when you look into the fundamental theorem of calculus is given here. Take fx is equal to x cube minus 2x plus 1. Capital fx to be equal to 0 to x ft dt. These two curves are given, please. These two curves are given. The fundamental theorem of calculus states that the derivative of an integral with respect to the upper bound equals the integral. That's what the theorem is, right? This blue colored one is the integral. This yellow colored one is nothing but our function. x cube minus 2x plus 1 is this yellow colored graph. This blue colored graph is to represent the integral. So, but this visualization you will not be taught in the calculus. You just will be teaching the fundamental theorem of calculus just like the theoretical. So, let us uh, make this app available to the students so that they can learn these ideas thoroughly, mostly visually, which is uh, absent in the more traditional classes. That part is missing all the time. You know, that, that can be made available to the students, uh, which strengthens his foundation in learning the things. So this is only about uh, 2D visualizations, but uh, for 3D visualization, there is another tool. And this has become more popular nowadays, and almost all the schools are having this app, namely GeoGebra. I want to look at that. So explore all the topics available in this small application. Application is nothing but a small software. Remember, these are the softwares wherein you need not uh, write any code. Straight away, you can make use. If you want to make use high-end softwares like MATLAB, Apple, and the mathematical like softwares, one needs to write code. That is not necessary here. Straight away, enter uh, the equations as if you are doing in the word. Everything will be taken carefully. So nothing that you have to code. Ready-made, simple, cute softwares are these. Okay. Let's try to look into another important uh, application. Uh, this GeoGebra. Um, uh, it has got several uh, small, cute uh, apps. Let me call them as subsidiaries. Two uh, D Grapher is there. Three D Grapher is. I'm just taking three D Grapher here. In this 3D grapher, what are the things available here? So these particular uh, figures indicate that uh, so, so many things can be done. Sphere, if you look at the sphere icon, uh, there is a center and it's passing through some point. In other words, a sphere can uniquely be determined by its center given and passing through a point. If you choose this particular icon, choose a point and as a center, choose another point through which it passes. You have the sphere straight away, right? So if you are not happy with this particular color, you can choose any color of your choice. So this is what we have this. So it is the sphere uh, with the center so given and uh, its figure is something like this. Uh, but here you are just using only geometry of this, okay? It's, it's geometry but it's not coordinate geometry. Can we display its equation? That can also be done, of course. There's another app for that. Here is another icon, which is going to give you like a plane through any three non-collinear points. We know that their process is exactly one plane, which is taught in the three-dimensional geometry, right? Now here also, you can just look into one plane, which passes through three points. Decide, take this one. Take three points, one, two, and three, you have a plane immediately, right? You can just see this is the plane, blue color one. Let me take different color. So if I take a different color here, yeah, this red colored one is the plane. It is intersecting the sphere. We know in the classes that the plane section of a sphere is nothing but a circle. Now you can make this to happen in the classroom so nicely. You can see that the plane section of this particular sphere with this plane is a circle. So therefore, this particular app, you explore all these things. You can even create a cube with uh, uh, its length being given and its direction is given. So let's try to look at two, one, two. So this is the, you just decide the size of this one. It's going to decide. Of course, orientation also be taken care into account. 
so that you can just see that this is the cube which is being drawn here. You can put some other color to various surfaces. It has got six surfaces. A cube will have six surfaces. So with the different uh, colors for the different surfaces of the cube, you can just let the thing stand. You can show all this particular stuff to the students in the classroom or make available this tool to him, them in their devices. Now that every student is having mobile phones with them, and uh, even all these apps are available for mobile, for mobile mobile phones with any OS operating system. Let them explore all the content that is available in this graphic tool. Okay. I'm not going to show all this particular stuff which is available here, but um, you please make sure that these are within the reach of the students so that they can learn the things easily. You can even uh, look into the plain uh, section of a cone also. That can also be done. There are so many other things you can see. Not only that, these are, there are so many other uh, tools available here. All these tools can be exploited, okay? A cylinder can be drawn with uh, a point given and uh, height uh, specifies another point, radius. So you can just see. The radius I want to put some two or three as radius, okay. And you've got some, uh, this one, you just look at this cylinder. Cylinder has come into picture, okay. So all these things you can see you know, in this, but uh, can you make out such a figure in the classroom? It's just impossible to draw in the classroom, okay? Yeah. Uh, Pavan, are you able to listen to me? Hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah, in between also you can interrupt. You can put some questions if you so wish. Okay. So these are so many tools which are available. Let them exploit all these tools, okay? So having done this, George, you've got a 3D. I want to look at another important uh, calculus application. Oh, Aaron, you can learn so many calculus problems. You can solve so many calculus problems. Let me look into that particular app, which is this. I'm, I'm talking about this. So, its name is a uh, FX calculus solver. Its name is FX Calculus Solver. Is it visible to you? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. So you can you can have these contents in this computations, evaluation of polynomials, some pre-algebra review, uh, algebra review, polynomials, rational functions, radicals, complex numbers, matrix, equation one, equation two, system of equations, inequality, and so on and so forth. Evaluation, operations, domain, range, inverse, equality, inequality, general and advanced limits, differentiation, integration, graphs, and so on. So these are the things you can uh, learn on your own. So because uh, we belong to BS and Evo, I want to look into integration business, particularly integration by parts I want to check. There is a model problem which is solved here. Integral x log x dx, okay? Integral x log dx can be solved by using integration by parts. Uh, log x kept for derivatives and x kept for integrals, you can do it very easily, right? Within one or two lines, you can attend this problem. What does this application do? It is in fact going to teach us, it's going to make us learn the method of solving this problem. For that, you just uh, look at this icon, play button, you click. You can see its solution as if a teacher is solving on the green board with white chalk. Let us see. So this is the way. You are faster. Let's try to even, there is something, go through slower and faster. So x log x dx, they are doing it. First, to integrate x, x square by two, right? And uh, he's trying to put it this way. So put log x to x square by two, um, minus integral d by dx of log x into x square by two will be there, okay? So that is the integration by parts business. That's what we have this. He's teaching slowly like this. 
even uh, we me we can ask the teacher to go even little slower also now uh, you can make it faster also you make it fast it it fastly computes it does it okay integration is done but uh, you may be getting surprised that is it this only or uh, only the problems mentioned here will be solved or uh, can you pose any problems of our choice that is the question so is it that it's going to solve only the problem which are labeled here or uh, can this solve a problem of our choice we try to look at that for that there is a slate and pen symbol is there now this one writing symbol writing pad and pen symbol you click this symbol now you can put your problem a problem of your choice instead of x here or log x here i want to take sin x now let me take sin x let me put the question solve it solves immediately your yeah, solution is done you can see here the solution x sin x dx and um, uh, whichever is easy easy for integration that will be taken as uh, that first one the integration is over i am i am making this very fast remember this it's going to solve our problem so fast and so easily without any errors sometimes when we solve it manually in the classroom we may go wrong also but uh, this machine never does any mistake instead of uh, this problem may look very simple instead of this particular x can i put x power 5 x to the power of 5 uh, i want to take i i again put the same question solve this will this solve it's it yes within no time it could solve this is it right look at how fast it is doing the problem i think integration by parts has to be done twice for this problem right integration will be done so many times of course not uh, time so all these problems can be done so easily by using this app of course these are intermediate level problems but when you look into your bsc course uh, you will have problems um, of multiple integrals double integrals and triple integrals both the indefinite and definite the definite double integrals indefinite double integrals even among triple integrals also you have got two categories indefinite triple integrals and indefinite uh, triple integrals even such things can also be done by using the same right if you look into that you have got um, look into this multiple integration is there in the multiple integration you see double integrals are covered here not triple integrals are available okay no problem so let's here you have got only uh, definite integrals but even you can make uh, these problems very tough you look at this problem double integral could be done so easily effortlessly see how easily this is getting solved so they can practice so many problems but you may be getting a doubt rather than getting a practice of the problems probably student may enter the problem directly and get the answer done without any practice am i right you may be thinking that if such apps are exposed to them rather than practicing problems they may simply put their problem into the machine and the machine computes the same am i right probably they may not pose any or uh, may not go for any practice of problems nothing to worry i think to let them expose to that kind of things also after all computations should not waste our time computations can be done by machine also nowadays for everything computations are taken care by the computers why would one forego so much of time in uh, calculating such integrals manually whose technique is already known how to solve them let us explain the method of solution thoroughly so that he understands thoroughly without any gap then computing them will be a laborious task and it's a routine job only 
routine such computation jobs can be assigned to the computers. What is wrong in that? Instead, that fellow may pose so many questions to the computer, computer so that that will not be in a position to answer the question. Suppose if I put some question here instead of this. So let me pose a new question to this machine. So instead of two here, uh, instead of uh, rather than putting here, I want to put something like this. Sign of uh, brackets, uh, square root of x. Uh, what is that square root symbol now? x to the power of half I want to put. One uh, divided by two. Here is divided by symbol. So if I ask this question to the machine, it will not do anything. See, if I put this question to the machine, it will hang on there itself because this machine does not know how to integrate sine square root of x. Using traditional methods of integration, sine square root of x integration cannot be done. That's why it's taking, it's taking so much of time. It will not come to an end also. This the goes on trying to process the problem, but it will never solve. You see, server failed. Maybe this problem is unsolvable. Try another problem, right? So this is the kind of things we students may explore so that uh, theory will be understood thoroughly by the students. So therefore, uh, let us not uh, worry about whether the fellow practices the problems or not. Let us try to keep these things available to him so that he learns them on his own and uh, he puts so many questions to the machine, sometimes questions which cannot be solved by the machine. And then he starts making inquiries on why it is not solvable. What are the other methods available to solve the problem? Let me start thinking those lines, which is helpful for us. No? So this is what one has to think while putting these things. Therefore, almost all the calculus things can be done by using this. It's a wonderful app, which is specifically or designed to meet the demands of the calculus. And the similar app is there for even algebra also. And I want to look into a special course assistant to look into linear algebra kind of it. I want to look into this a linear algebra course assistant. So this linear algebra course assistant deals with uh, these ideas of linear algebra. Linear equations within linear equations, single equation solving and uh, solving system of equations like this is done. For two variables or for more variables also you can do this. And next, if I look into vectors, for vector information, add and subtract, a scalar product, a dot product, a cross product, a norm, projection of a vector onto another vector. Projection of a vector onto another vector, right? Or you know, this matrices, matrices contain so many matrix information. Information is its order, its rank, its transpose, its trace, and so on and so forth. Dimensions, transpose, add and subtract, scalar product, matrix product, adjugate, that means uh, to find out a uh, joint. Uh, reduced row echelon form, rank, finding inverse, finding determinants. Finding inverse for two by two matrices or three by three matrices, four by four matrices. This can be done. And uh, similarly, uh, the linear transformations subspaces, row space, column space, null space, nullity, rank, all those things can be seen. Eigenvalues and eigenvectors, characteristic equation of a square matrix, eigenvalues of a square matrix, eigenvectors of a square matrix, the diagonalization, and so on and so forth. If I look into a problem of eigenvalues in this, let us see, I'm, I'm taking a a matrix uh, with the three rows, minus two, five, seven, three, 11, 15, minus four, minus three, 10. And this is my problem. Now you see, 
what is this matrix minus 2 5 7 3 11 15 minus 4 minus 3 10 this matrix taken orbitally you can put some other matrix also in the place instead of uh, 10 I, I want to take uh, say 1 a new matrix comes let's ask the machine to compute this again values a new matrix has come Eigen values have been computed. You can ask this particular application to solve this problem step by step. Let's all this solve, ask this machine to solve the same problem step by step. Yeah, this is the way the machine has solved it. Yeah, if I put the same problem to the students or teacher, can they solve it so quickly? Look at this is the characteristic equation minus lambda two plus 10 lambda square minus 45 lambda minus 182. Remember in the traditional classroom activity, solving this cubic equation is not that easy. Solving minus lambda q plus 10 lambda square minus 45 lambda minus 182. This problem is not that easy. What are its eigenvalues? As was spoken by the machine, these are the values. So look at here. It has computed these values by some machines. Let's try to, these are in fact approximate values of that. Let us ask the machine to give exact values. Exact values are going to be something like this. Mr. Pawan, are you observing that the eigenvalues are lambda 1 is that, lambda 2 is that, lambda 3 is this? Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes. You look at this uh, innocent matrix. If you take this matrix minus 2, 5, 7, 3, 11, 15, minus 4, minus 3, 1. Suppose innocently a student has given you this problem for the teacher, let us suppose. Then, okay, up to characteristic equation, you can go. After that, you will be locked to get the solution. But look at these eigenvalues are so complicated, you know. A real eigenvalue is lambda 3. So what is that fellow has done? That fellow has done this particular cubic equation converting to some other cubic equation in which second uh, term is absent by using coordinates method. That coordinates method yielded this particular result of Roots. Ordinal method, a lot of time, not less than one hour. So you have to focus so much of time in solving that equation. The expressions are so untidy for them, so complicated here. See, while computing these manually, you may go wrong also. Such huge numbers are involved, so many radical signs are involved. So solving this problem, which looks innocent by appearance, is so complicated while getting its eigenvalues. Hardly you can come up to eigen equation or characteristic equation. Beyond that, you cannot go. A teacher cannot go. But this machine computes. So can we take the advantage of this machine or not nowadays? Yeah. We have to take advantage of that. Remember, these even classical computers are going to be replaced very soon with the quantum computers, wherein this particular speed is going to be Increase like anything. It's going to entirely enter the next level of competition and business. So therefore, let us try to expose the students to this new kind of technologies so that they explore. If a student is from computer science, maths, and electronics background, if such things are exposed to them, they may make wonders. So let us not uh, forego that opportunity to explain them about these apps. So I have taken this particular matrix, right? Instead of... Uh, this, I won't take uh, another matrix. So three, say minus one, uh, comma zero is one. And another matrix say zero, uh, comma one, comma two. This is third row, let us take this. Now we shall ask the machine to compute this thing. Within no time, it is going to compute the answer. What is that? Now that these eigenvalues are comfortable, all, the, all of them are real, right? All of them are real, two are thirds. And even step-by-step -step solution also you can see. 
step by step solution also you can see here okay, this what you have with us you have with you but if such equations are going to be there with you solving these things may not be that difficult but the problem comes only when the problems are quite complicated right so this is uh, what you can do with this kind of uh, apps okay this is going to address uh, the problem of uh, linear algebra let us try to look into even some systems of equations how to solve them linear equations systems i'm taking so i'm asking this machine to solve the system 2x minus y is equal to 5 x plus y is equal to 4 this is very easy these two are two straight lines and the point of intersection is the solution right you can even ask the machine to see the graph is also seen here that red dot is the solution and uh, look at here even solving this equation there are various methods we have used elimination method gauss elimination substitution method is there gauss elimination is there cramer's rule is there you can ask the machine to use any of these so instead let us take a system with the three variables so let's take some plus z is equal to 5 so minus z is equal to 4 let us take third equation x plus y plus z 2z is equal to say minus 5 i do not know whether the solution is there or not so you have to solve them for what you have to solve them for x y and z i am giving you a system with three equations and i am asking the machine to solve this one for x y z compute Now it has done the problem. 3 minus 2 minus 3 is the answer. I do not know uh, this is the solution. You can see the step-by-step -step solution for this. And there are various methods of solution even for this also. Uh, it poses uh, several methods. Let us try to solve the same problem by using Cramer's rule. Right? Cramer's rule is going to use determinants. Right? Uh, let's ask the machine to use this method to solve that. Using Cramer's rule, uh, it's trying to compute. No. So, using Cramer's rule, uh, this is computing. So, whether it has put the equations in the matrix form 2 minus 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1 minus 1, xyz is equal to 5 minus 5, 4. So, xyz are this. The, this particular um, uh, 2 minus 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1 minus 1 so comes in the denominator. And appropriate uh, determinants will be taken in the numerators for xyz. That is the solution straight away. Okay. These determinants are computed. The answer has now come out to be this much. So nicely, it's being computed step by step without leaving a single hitch. So solving the same problem in the classroom needs so much of time. So even if you ask the same question to the students also, you have to forego so much of time and space. So which can be achieved by using this kind of question. You can explore all the topics which are covered in the linear algebra using this particular app. So having done this, I want to look into another course assistant, uh, which goes by the name. This is in fact a uh, free application. We have to pay something for this, four to 500. One time payment, you can just purchase this. I want to look into advanced calculus. So this is in fact multi-variable calculus. This multivariable calculus will also be taught at the BSc level for the students, wherein you will have uh, plotting of uh, these 2D plots, 3D plots are available here. Uh, 2D plots, 3D plots, if you look into 3D plots, you know, sine x, uh, if I ask you to compute this particular plot, sine x into e power minus y square by y square, is the graph of this. And instead of this, you can put some other uh, graph. Yeah, let's put cos y cos y. Yeah, if I ask the machine to compute this graph, sine x cos y. Of course, uh, within the range uh, x range from 0 to 3, y range from minus 1 to 1. This is the graph of uh, this. It, this. This is the contour lines graph. This is the contour plot, second one. First one is the original graph. So these graphs can be done so easily by using this. It's not only that, in fact, you can see so many things. Integration. You look at here, you've got uh, single integrals, double integrals, and triple integrals. Let's try to look in triple integrals. In the triple integrals, you've got two cases, definite and uh, indefinite integrals. 
So if I look at this problem, um, x square cos y plus z, the x dy dz. Uh, of course, I could not. Uh, was the result okay? So this is the integral x square cos y plus z dx dy dz. First uh, with respect to s, then y, and then z with this. So instead of this uh, cos y, uh, let us try to put some other symbol z square. Uh, the answer is going to be something different. And solution is done. So quickly it's done, please. So this uh, even you, you can even look for some definite integrals. X uh, cos y and sine z. So limits of integrals are one to two, three to four, five to six. Uh, that that is integral business. And the, its exact um, value is also seen here. So therefore, all these things can be done by using this particular app. In addition to that, you can look into uh, differentiating uh, partial derivatives of gradients, critical points, saddle points, local extrema. All these things you can see. And um, this differentiation can be done using this. And the limits you can see, advanced limits. All those things you can check. You can exploit all these uh, icons and you can get your work done by using this. You can have a better understanding over this while learning, okay? This is one multivariable calculus. And, uh, I want to look into another interesting, uh, this one, resource, uh, which goes by the name, Math Explain. Math explain is another one which I want to show you. Sorry, math explain. So, this is another online tool available. Look at this math explain. This is another typical website where someone can learn these courses. Courses like a pre calculus, calculus one, calculus two, and calculus three, linear algebra, probability theory. These are the courses one can learn from this website. This is what I wanted to show you. And uh, let us try to look at what actually this contains. Uh, to have a better understanding, I want to look at in this. Calculus 3. Calculus 3 should lead to what? Advanced calculus. Matrix and vectors, determinants, eigenvalues, and eigenvectors. Functions are two variables, double integrals, and differential equations. Let us look at differential equations. So, integrating factor, exact equations, differential equations, separable differential equations, homogeneous type of equations, and so on. Let us see how this particular fellow solves this. First order linear equations. You can learn this step by step. Let us see how this can be done. Of course, this needs um, login. You just uh, make out um, you need to log in this one, please. And he's asking to log in. But OK, you have to make out your some account. And it's free, please. You can make out your account, and you can log in, and you can get these works done. OK? You explore this one. This is going to explain everything so nicely. You cannot even imagine that it can be so easily and nicely. Uh, this can be learned. Let us see whether some of them can or they are put to this one, the free usage. Yeah, let's see, it will be something. Suppose sine and cosine on the unit circle. How does this fellow explain? Next step, and next step, next step, next step, next step. Like this, he, he explains everything so clearly. Like this. So every lesson will be taught uh, so nicely step by step with visual means you can learn this subject. I request all of you to go through this important app so that you can learn such beautiful courses which are being taught at the BSC level with greater clarity and with a greater depth one can learn even 
while teaching also all these things are quite helpful to the teachers as well and uh, i want to stop this lecture at this stage that is right time that all such tools are to be used in the classroom and uh, they are to be in the hands of the students in the light of this advanced technological era i want to listen to the audience uh, before closing my session uh, do you have any questions please do we have any qu questions thank you sir thank you for your excellent any, any, informative lecture no no uh, any questions from the audience please i want to listen to them i'm okay. looking at the short back short box okay. let them speak no problem allow the uh, listeners to pose questions please okay sir thanks please Uh, student, if you have any doubts, you can post in chat box also. you can also pose as teachers also you can pose some questions please Uh, for uh, we can change differential equations into uh, uh, shape of a diagram. Differential equations into? Uh, I think uh, we know uh, every differential equation has a shape, right, sir? Every differential has shape. Uh, a graph. Yeah, certainly, certainly. There, when I can yeah, show yeah. you one, uh, the yeah. dual frame alpha will do. Uh, there yeah. you can solve the questions, and graphs can also be seen. Solutions graph. Graphs of solutions can also be seen by using Wolfram Alpha so, computing engine. Okay. Wolfram Alpha. Shall I show you one? Yeah. Okay. Let me show you. This one I'm talking about. Let us try to put this question. Yeah. Talking about this. Differential equation. Huh? Yeah, differential equation. Let me take this. So if I look at this question, y double dash plus y is equal to zero, you can just see the solution. Look at graphs have come with these two initial values. This is the solution. With these two initial values, this is the solution. The equation is this. Of course, you can put some other equation also, not necessarily this. You can put some other equation instead of this. Still, you can get the solution. Y double prime uh, plus Uh, y uh, is equal to say x square. Let us put x square. It will solve immediately. It's ordinary uh, second order ordinary linear differential equation, and the whole solutions are something like this. You can see the step by step solutions also. So it has got several methods of solution, not only one. it is solving with undetermined coefficients and you can solve the same thing with variation of parameters you can solve with by using laplace transform okay so various methods of solution are there in any method you can solve this and graphs can be seen is it okay yeah sir so this is there of course wolfram alpha is one beautiful application there you can learn on solve the subjects Next sir, question, please. Three apps are uh, paid or free, sir? The uh, paid one only, only that uh, multi-variable calculus, uh, the paid app. Before that, I have shown linear, but that is also paid app. 
the others are all free and tail app means it's a, it's cost is something like 6 to 700 one time payment okay okay one time payment means you need not again it will be there forever with you right mm. so it's much uh, cheaper than uh, spending on a watching a movie movie yes yeah, sir right so therefore it's very easy and the throw away price you can just get those apps into your mobile phones or uh, laptops thank you shall we stop here yeah sir oh, we can end okay. the session thank thank you sir for your excellent and informative lecture now i request miss nalata madam to propose with her thanks good afternoon one and all i am sneha lata i am here to present the vote of thanks for today's guest lecture i would like to thank our guest lecturer dr govardhan sir for accepting our request and enlightening us with their knowledge today's guest lecture was full of knowledge and interesting things the point where dr govardhan sir explain us about the grapher tools geogebra desmos was really informative and also sir explain about link between algebra and geometry fx math problem solver linear algebra course assistant multi variable calculus math explain website walform alpha map we definitely explain about these apps in classroom sir i am pretty sure the precious knowledge that he gave us will definitely help us in our studies and future thank you so much sir i thank the management of av college our secretary professor g prakash reddy sir correspondent dr k gautami ma'am I also extend my sincere gratitude to the principal Dr CH Rajalingam sir our vice principal Dr Padma ma'am academic coordinator for physical and life sciences Ms Manjula Devi ma'am and all other heads of the department and staff and also thank you to all the students present here for paying your attention and learning and also thank you so much to the technical department thank you all thank you madam thank you all for your participants uh, wish you a very good of good afternoon feedback link will be shared in our respective class groups please give your valuable feedback and please yeah. like and subscribe sir. our avi college sir. youtube sir hello sir. can you hear sir, me sir. yes yes so yeah, while yes, ta sir. taking feedback you pl please try to take anonymously if you mention okay. their names and taking feedback they always say that it's very good very good Uh, ask them to share their opinion without yes. mentioning their names and addresses okay that's better always okay sir. right sir. thank you right right thanks so much thank you sir. Thank you. and please like and subscribe our av college uh, youtube channel thank you thank you all